Back again, viewers and subscribers. What's going on? You don't know the boy yard man. They are back again, people. You don't know everybody have a wonderful day. I know it's about eight o'clock now or a couple of minutes to eight. On my way to the Emirates Emirates Stadium to watch Arsenal versus um Chelsea. Hey, people, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, people. That's our Oxford. It costs nothing. Just see those. Just tap that subscribe button, share the video, and just leave your comment and give the video a thumbs up. Even if I think the video are crap, give it a thumbs up. Bad man thing. But anyway, people, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yes, people, as I said, we're about five minutes away from the Emirates Stadium. And Arsenal make three changes out of the team that faced Man City on Wednesday. And the change that coming in, uh, Chassard coming in for Martinelli, um, Georgino coming for Partey, and uh, Yakiop coming for Holding. And I know, before I get into that, I know a lot of people giving Holding the stick and they're saying that he's a weak link and all these things, but I believe Gabriel has get away scotch free. Nobody say nothing about Gabriel, and he is, he is. He is the senior center off in the team, which is supposed to supposed to galvanize the team, supposed to be talking to a Olin where Olin, we know that Olin is not good enough to play at a big Premier League club at the very present moment. He's getting old, he's been there for ages and he never really hold on a start and unless we have an injury where he have to come in and play a couple of games and there's quite a few games where he play very well. So we can't even knock him. He is like a He's not, he's not a okay, he's just maybe an okay player then, put it that way. He's not a good, good player, but he's an okay player. And he can stop a gap when needs be to. And he has been do, doing that for Arsenal over the over the past couple of se seasons. I think he's been there for like nearly 10 years now plus. Because I, I know that it was, um, it was Wenger who signed him from, from Bolton. You understand so he's been there for a long time but he just never get good you can blame that on him or i can blame that on his coach or whosoever his management team or the, you know you, you can blame it for who you want to blame it but he just never come good and i know this is going to happen you now anytime arsenal playing any big team everybody turn up you will never get a parking space and i know this was going to happen so yeah people so you know like i said everybody blaming um holding which in, i don't think holding is the one to be blamed i believe and i solemnly believe that gabriel just didn't did not do a good job regarding um sorting out the the the, the, the center half position sorting out the, the player them who coming in he just did not turn up and nobody say nothing about that but i see and 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 I and I will say that Gabriel, you need to do better. And Mikel Arteta just need to go out there in the January and get a proper center off because for me, Gabriel ain't. Gabriel is not the one that to hold to hold it all for us when you know we're back against the wall. He's just not the one. So for me, like I said, Gabriel let us down big time, and nobody say nothing about that. You understand? Now, the game against Man City reached Emirates Stadium, my people. The game against Man City was a very messed up game. Like, the biggest game of the season for them. Knowing that if they beat City, they stand a chance of winning the Premier League, winning the rest of their game. And like I said, they just did not turn up. They did not turn up at City. Nobody turned up. Not even... Not even... Um, Saka... Martinelli, he was missing. I'm no that. Uh, oh my God, I can't even. I don't know. Pate, he was, he was horrendous, to to, to say the least. De Bruyne, the first goal, De Bruyne was running back towards his goal. The ball played over by Johnston. De Bruyne turned and run past Pate. When what him gonna do? Go and score. So, even though Olden was there, I don't know what he was doing behind Olden. Um, behind Arlen, I don't know what he was doing there. Foul the guy, back off and let them start again. But no, he was cool and deadly behind Arlen. I don't know, like, I don't know. But the team did not turn up. 
Nobody turn up. Absolutely no one turn up. And we get a stomping. Not that I believe personally that Man City is not saying that Man City is that good. We know that they are a good team. They are set up good. And they everybody play to their best of, of, of their ability. Arsenal just don't. But when you're going to play a game like that, you're going to make the opposition team look so good. Where people are going to say, Raw, they, 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 Man City is like a Rose Rice. When kindly that is not the case. It's just we did not play at our best as uh, as as why we know we can play you understand and that is it Mikel Arteta never give he didn't help them out to be honest with you he wasn't there to help because as a manager at times in games where I see four goals score the same way at the back post and you don't look to change it you don't look to set up I mean you go to City and you just go to City like a big dunce because we play them with our nearly best team, apart from Jesus, at the Emirates, and they beat us 3-1. Are you going to go back to the Etihad with the same team, the same formation, apart from um, um, William Saliba this time, your, one, your best centre-half? Are you going to play the same way and expect to come out at the Etihad with a win? Come on, Mikel Arteta, spare me the details. Are you going to sit there and state in that, Tactical, you make you're, you're doing things tactical on the pitch to come back with um to outplay uh, Man City, but where 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 was that? Because we just couldn't see it. We just couldn't see what you were doing, and it is so frustrating. You understand? I know Mikel Arteta come out and said this January transfer win um this summer going to be very hectic. I know there Arsenal definitely going to be in the Champion League, and there's a lot of player who's going to go for. Club, sorry, who's going to go for these players that we're going to go for? We know Chelsea not going to be in the Champions League. Uh, Liverpool not going to be in the Champions League. And we know that um, Tottenham not going to be there. We know. So, team will have money to spend. Can this club attract these big name players the same way? I believe so. It is for Arsenal to go out there. Now they're talking about player like um, Declan Rice is going to be the Galatico signing, the big signing for the, for the January, for the summer. No, I believe talk should have started already. And, and, and deal done so by the time the window open up we, this player can come in you cannot be pussyfooting around because you know that Declan Rice or that Chelsea U team I know that Chelsea is, is in it um more likely gonna put in a bid for Declan Rice they're gonna put in a bid for Hurricane we know those are that the, the two sort of player who Chelsea are gonna put in a bid for even though they're not in the Champion League do Hurricane will go there I don't think so Maybe he get attracted by Patrocino there. Maybe Hurricane would love to work back on Patrocino because he like to work on it. Him. Is that the case with Hurricane? I don't know. Declan Rice said want to play Champion League. So maybe the money and the offer and the, the length of contract, he might, might just say, you know what? We can go here with this player and next year we'll be in the Champion League. And that, that can happen. T player, look at who you at the club and where the club is going. So... All of these things can happen. So people, it is not for we to hear to sit down and just the ass are just sitting on their hand right now. You're supposed to be out there making signing car. Like I said, Gabriel is not good enough to play at the back with William Saliba. It's not good enough. I know um Olin get a lot of stick and everybody blaming Olin, but I believe Gabriel is the senior centre back, the one who plays every single game and he just doesn't play nothing. From William Saliba is not there. So for me, that alone made me know that as a manager, you cannot play in my team. I have to go out there and get a proper centre back. I know Kimiok, is he gonna be that good? I know when him come on in a couple of games and look a little bit lost. But at the end of the day, I would for me as uh, if, if it was me, Mikel Arteta, I would have give Kimiok it the um Yakup these the, the the last five, six games. Let, let's see what him can bring. Like, well, let's see what he's like. You understand? Because we know that holding already let's see what this guy's like let's see when him come under pressure in a big game thanks for starting in this game as well but let's see what the pressure is like when him start and we can go from there but people like i said i don't know what the emirates say them and the game gonna kick off in the next one minute or so so i'm gonna head there we'll let you know what's going on but big up on yourself please people don't forget to subscribe to the channel i know pff, Frank Lampard has been a game in five since he been at the since him been back to Stanford Bridge for this last return. And you know Arsenal stay. You know Arsenal like to give team the good luck charm. And I just don't want to sit here and say Frank Lampard might get him first win. 
at the Emirates Stadium, it is very, very likely. We know ABBA starting as well. So, people, <laughs> this one is a very tricky one. Tricky, tricky one. You might hear me come back at the end of the day and say, guess what? Told you. I don't want to say it. Say, he's going to get it, but you never know. Arsenal is down at the moment and you just never know. So big up on yourself, people. Like I said, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel, Yardman AFC. Just share my video. Just put it on any platform. Just send it out to my people. That's all I'm begging on. That's all. Just send the video to them out there. You alright, people? Big up on yourself. Like I said, we are at the Emirates Stadium. One of the can't see. Can't see stadium from me. So, but yes, we are there now. So big up on yourself, people. Over and out.